Hey, this is Kevin Carr, CEO of Pro to CEO. Today, I want to come to you and say, you've graduated. Now what? Congratulations to all those worldwide who have graduated something, have accomplished something in this season where it's been very difficult just due to the times. I want to say, look, if you've finished a certificate, you've finished a degree, you've finished a diploma, you've fi finished a master's, bachelor's, PhD, you've gotten a license, you've passed a series of tests, you've passed the bar, man, I am for you 100%. So the first tip I'm going to give you is celebrate. Take time, time, take the time out to celebrate you. Take the time to reflect. Take the time to say really thank you to all the people around you who have made some level of contribution to get you where you are now. A graduate, a finisher. Um, this really is for your next level. So this is for the career climber in you. My career climbers, I call you because you are making strides towards that. So congratulations, take that. Also time to sit back and say, well, job well done. I'm gonna reflect, I'm gonna give uh, as much um, down downtime as I can to this, because sometimes we don't take that time out to uh, sit back and say, you know what, I need a little rest um, and relaxation and recharge, rejuvenate before I go back out and take that next level. So that's my first tip, congrats to you. My second tip is, look, when you're done, it doesn't always go as smooth um, as you want. So I want you to know that you can um, experience some up and down in this. Let me give you an example. When I graduated from Florida State I was on a panel um, prior to graduation. It was really, really within days, and it was this big alumni event. There were lots of people in the audience, and they had four students they chose to be on this panel. We were all diverse students, and I was finishing my undergrad degree after four years of school. So we're all super proud, but at the same time, what was really interesting, the question they put before us was, you know, do you feel prepared now that you have graduated from this institution? Everybody, one, two, three, yes. Got to me, I said, mm, I'm not sure. The whole audience went, ah, oh, real quiet. And I didn't mean it as a negative. It was just, I was excited about finishing, but I also was facing the reality of now that I finished, what's next and i think that part hit me more so than my colleagues um, not putting on any airs in terms of me i was like really unsure and i just said it and i think there was a bit of reality instead of always saying oh I'm, it's amazing it's i'm graduated i'm gonna conquer the world i had some reality set in for me very early i said dang i'm finished now i'm gonna have to get out here and get to work so my second tip is look you don't know um, exactly how you're gonna feel. So there may be some up and down periods as soon as you graduate about where you are um, in terms of mindset. So I want to prepare you for that. And my third tip is look, as soon as you feel like that, I need you to get out and get connected. I need you to not sit back. I need you to get going on what's next by connecting in with the right people, connecting in with a plan. So plan and people, the P-square model, you're going to begin your plan. What was your plan? What was it that you wanted to do? You've gotten your degree or certificate now, go out and do that. If you got a, a degree and you're not sure in terms of a job, your plan is to get a job. They say, for every 10,000 you want in a job, it can take you up to, let's say you want a $100,000 job, it can take you up to 10 months to get that job. So you gotta really already be working on that if you wanna roll right into that. So I'm saying to you, 
Whatever it is that you're doing, get connected in it, execute that plan, the first P, and then get with the people and make sure that it happens. And that's what I did immediately after I was done. This amazing effect happened at that panel. As soon as I said, look, I'm not sure, there were at least, you know, 80 alumni who came some form of fashion during the post of that program, you know, came up to me and said, hey, young man, if you need any help, let me know. So I connected with that audience. I connected right in with a realism of what my need and my reality was. And those people responded right away as alumni and said, whatever you need, whatever you need. From that, I had lots of opportunities to connect and network and really get going on the plan now that I really want it, uh, I express that. So it worked out really well. The, the next thing is when you're sort of going down this path of successfully graduating, you wanna get where you stay motivated um, because expect the unexpected. It can take longer than you want it. Um, don't always jump to conclusion if you get a great lead and you feel like it's leading to the job. Stay positive, you know, stay motivated, but expect the unexpected, meaning that you could get all the way to the first interview, to the third, to the fifth, and not get that job. So I want you to level set with yourself and be real and say like, if I don't get this job, I gotta have a plan uh, and not feel like, well, that was it, that was the one man, I, I don't know if I can do this again. You have to because your livelihood depends on it. You got to get right back out there and you got to be on top of it and stay motivated because the opportunity is still out there. You just haven't found the one right for you. I can remember putting in for a lot of jobs soon after I graduated for at least, I would say, close to six months. And at the same time, as I was looking for jobs, I applied for graduate school. And within that, the jobs, a couple of them came, but they just weren't the right fits. They weren't communicating to me, and I didn't feel like that was going to be the right job. So guess what I did? I took that opportunity and said to myself, you know, although I've graduated, got this degree, I took the time to reflect, I got, connected with the right people, I had this plan, it didn't necessarily go right as the first plan, so I had a, another plan, and I exercised that and didn't get down. I got busy and got into graduate school and began my master's program right away, no delay, and jumped right back into a master's program um, about seven months later had some level of uh, full full scholarship where I had to work and go to school, but it was the right thing for me. So what I'm saying is, you know, stay motivated in that process, expect the unexpected, and really believe that it's going to work itself out for you. A lot of times when you're going through having done something like a major accomplished got a certificate, you get the certificate or license or degree or diploma. And then you're like, okay, I'm on my way, but there's often that unexpected at that next level. So if you're finishing your high school diploma, you're gonna to go to college now, you're in college, your goal should be to get in the college environment, understand it and continue to be a high performer and make sure you not only go to college, you go to college and you graduate and you get going into whatever that next phase, whether you go to work or you go um, into a master's program, same thing with getting a certificate license, uh, passing a series seven test, like if you're a financial advisor, whatever you did to just finish, make sure you have the progression plan next to, to ensure that you're ready for whatever's next. A lot of times, if we don't simultaneously, and that's what I mean, uh, I mean by having like all these plans, you got to make sure you have multiple plans to keep the process and the progress going forward. One of my favorite quotes is my quote, the process of progress must be taken one step at a time to reach your desired level of greatness. Let me say that one more time. The process of progress must be taken one step 
at a time to reach your desired level of greatness. Whatever you're going after is going to be a process. And if you're really trying to achieve great progress, know that it's going to take time. So that's what I meant in this video. Celebrate, because it's going to take time. Reflect, because it's going to take time. Um, be patient and have a plan and follow it. And if the first plan doesn't go well, have another plan. And in the meantime, my last tip and my very last tip, and I want you to take this seriously. Just because you didn't get maybe that job you want, maybe because you didn't get that set up, it didn't roll out the way you want, make sure that you may have to do something else before you get that job that you want. So if you have to take a job that you don't want, it's okay. It's okay. It just means your dream isn't deleted. It might be a little delayed, but if you stay focused, you stay determined, you can get there. So when I didn't get the job I want, I went to graduate school. Man, I kicked butt in graduate school the next two years. It was a long program, almost 60 hours. And before I even graduated, I had a job waiting for you, waiting for me. And that is proof for you that sometimes it's not always what you see up front and you take a, a, a turn here doesn't mean it's not going to work out for you. Remember that um, just because that one initial route you really, really planned on didn't go, don't stop. Get with another process and another plan and connect with people and then move forward with that. And you should be able to reach whatever desired goal and greatness that you have for your um, next level. So that's it for my career climbers. I just gave you what I believe, you know, now that you graduated, what's next, you got a, a little bit of a plan here that you can build on. That is it. I'm Kev Carr. CEO of Protocea, where transition is our mission. We specialize in helping people uh, go into what's next with success. Um, leave me a question or any comment that I can do to help further along your progression and your career endeavors. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for taking the time out. And again, congratulations to you for reaching a major accomplishment. Keep building keep being that um, leader in your life that you desire to be and i'm here to help you as well so check out the other videos they might help you grow in some uh, way um, i'm very very fortunate to be able to do this and i appreciate um, you listening take care be well be blessed